here are all the items included in our new VLP 22 ULM kit. Your motor mount with MM4S, 8 foot lead with a Command Von Duprin connector, the Molex pigtail, 832nd Phillips head screws, docking tail with pin and clip. Now let's see how this new kit installs. First we'll start off by removing the head cover and sliding off the filler plate. Set those aside and we'll flip the device over and we'll remove the four screws securing the base rail to the push pad and housing. Set those aside. Now we can flip the device back over, slide off the housing and remove the push pad from the base rail. Set both of those aside. And now we're looking at a uh, familiar sight, Von Duplin base rail. So this one has dogging, so I'm going to flip it over and remove the two screws holding the dogging assembly in place. Now I can discard all of those, no longer needing them. Now if you have a fire rated device, this is where you need to use the replacement dogging tail piece by sliding it into the existing hole, lining it up, inserting the pin, and securing that pin with the clip provided. Now we're going to grab our motor kit and the attaching hook is going to slide right into the opening on the dog and tail piece at an angle and we're going to straighten the kit out and pull back by depressing the base rail and the motor mount will slide underneath the base rail and line up with those existing screws from the dogging assembly. Now using the two Phillips provided Coming from the top of the base rail, we're going to secure the motor mount to the Von Duprin base rail. Now we're ready to reassemble. I'm going to put the push pad back on. And there is a front and a back to this, and you can see by the angles uh, on the side of the push pad. So the, uh, the bevel going to the back of the device means it's the front, and if it has the, the square cut, then it's the back. The other way it's not going to fit. So make sure you have it on the right way. Check a few times. Um, now we can slide in the housing, being cautious of any wires. This does have a Rex with a four foot lead on there. Sometimes it's a little bit of a tight squeeze, so you just have to, uh, times you might have to open up the housing just slightly and slide it in. Once I get it started, here is the preferred method that I found. By holding it on the side, I was able to hold the push pad in place a little easier and slide on the housing. Be careful, I did lose a pinky in the process, so be cautious with your phalanges and always double checking my wires. Now with the housing all the way on, we can flip the device back over, reinstall those four screws to secure the base rail to the housing, flip the device back over, double check it's working mechanically, reinstall the head cover, and now we can hook it up to power utilizing our field tester. I can put it into learning mode by depressing the red button, applying power, get a quick beep, then release power. Now I'll depress the pad to where I want it to retract to, apply power, another quick beep, release and refire to the newly programmed location. Fire it off a few times to make sure the position is to your liking. If not, you can repeat the steps to reprogram to a new position. And that, my friends, is another successful installation. Thank you for calling Command Access. We're here to help.